It may sound unusual to hear, but a recent survey showed that one in four married couples sleep in separate beds. However, the survey also showed the reason why that is is not that they are no longer in love. It is just that they have poor sleep quality or different sleeping schedules, which impacts their sleep cycles, hence the separate beds. On the other hand, research has shown that couples who sleep together in the same bed are more likely to be happier and healthier than those who sleep in separate beds. This means that all the snoring and struggle for more bed space is actually good for you. But before we explain why sharing a bed with your partner might be better than sleeping separately, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Your memory and mood benefits from sleeping next to a partner. An experiment that compared the quality of sleep of couples who sleep apart with those who sleep together showed that people who sleep with their partners had increased levels of REM or rapid eye movement. The couples who slept separately showed lower levels of REM. Rapid eye movement is extremely beneficial for our body because our brain is more active during this stage. It also helps with social interactions, emotional regulation, creative problem solving, and most importantly, memory organization. Cuddling can lower the risk of heart problems and reduce stress. Research shows that hugging can reduce blood pressure in women. It was shown that women who were hugged by their partners had the lowest heart rates and blood pressure. Hugging often leads to oxytocin release, which is a hormone associated with building relationships, trust, empathy, and even sexual activity. It also helps reduce stress and provide psychological stability. People with high levels of oxytocin experience lower production of the stress hormone cortisol. Unlike oxytocin, high levels of cortisol can trigger autoimmune disorders, heart disease, and other types of inflammation. Skin contact helps reduce anxiety. In a psychological study on how women react to touch, it was shown that a simple touch can do wonders for our bodies. During the study, women's brains were monitored through an MRI scan. The scan would show how the subject's brain lit up every time they were touched. When the subject held hands with their partners, the scan showed reduced stress levels. For women who were married, interlocking their fingers with their spouses would help lower their anxiety levels completely. The study basically showed how partners can literally help keep our health in check. There is a direct link between relationship quality and sleep. A 2016 study published in Chronobiology International showed that couples in healthy and loving relationships experienced less stress and had better sleep quality. Couples in stressful relationships had more sleep disturbances and suffered from more sleep-related disorders. It was also shown that women who engaged in positive interactions with their partners during the day slept better. Unlike women, men who had a good night's sleep were more likely to have good and positive interactions with their partners the next day. Sharing a bed with your partner can be very helpful. Believe it or not, sleeping with your partner could possibly help identify sleep disorders or even save your partner's life. For example, sleep apnea is a serious disorder that causes you to stop breathing by affecting throat muscles and tissues. If not caught and treated early, it could be extremely dangerous. Some of the symptoms of sleep apnea include gasping, choking, and snoring. However, when you have a partner by your side, they can notice these symptoms and help you treat them sooner. Also, hugging your partner or staying close to them can help you notice seizures and other medical conditions that require treatment. Some happy couples prefer co-sleeping. Not having the same sleeping schedules can have detrimental consequences for a relationship. Yes, cuddling into sleep with your loved ones sounds great, but if your bedtime patterns don't match, you will only have trouble sleeping through the night. It is completely normal for people not to go to bed at the same time or sleep in rooms that are too hot or too cold. When everything is taken into consideration, it's best to talk to your partner about your sleeping schedules. The most important part is that your individual needs are met and getting a good night's sleep, of course. How about you? Do you like to sleep by yourself or do you like to doze off hugging your partner? Let us know in the comment section below.